Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope so, you are well. I am Siam and today in this video, I will show you how we can apply our student housing at Norway. In my earlier video, I showed you how we apply as a student in the USN. That means University of Southeastern Norway. And also I showed you how we can accept their offer ledger. After accepting their offer ledger, we have to find a place where we need to live. In this video, I will show you how we can apply for getting a student housing and when we can allocate it a uh, student housing and we can see uh, lots of things in this video so this video will be longer so it's my humble request to watch the full video so let's go for it first of all we will open that doc file that was sent by them after accepting our offer letter in here they said that we have to apply for our accommodation and they also provide a link for accommodation here they said that apply for housing as soon as possible and if applicable then we have to click that link and they also said that we have to apply may first it is recommended so i just simply open that link so here is the link and that is ssn.no slash en slash housing the link will be shown in my description so you can check that link in my description in here this divided three section one is find a place to live two is see all our student housing and three question about student housing so i am clicking first part of that page find student housing ssn in here you can see the type of accommodation like couple ap apartment family apartment single unit with shared kitchen and bathroom couples apartment and here they also provided a price and the size of that apartment so you can check the apartment and choose what the apartment is needed for ourselves after choosing i have to click the second part of that link that is our student housing ssn after going that link i will click the my page button after clicking i will be redirected that page then we have to log in if we have our credential and otherwise we have to click register here for creating a account then we have to write our email address then click that button then we have to fill up all the fields register i have to go my mail for verification so here is the mail enter the link in order to confirm and establish your password so i have to click that link for confirming i have to set my password and the password must have at least three of the following lowercase uppercase number and symbol so let's go to make a new password 
so I have to create a new password so I have to create my account so I have to log in into my account so here is my account so I have to click my application section then do you need housing click the button below to apply so I have to uh, click apply for housing button all applicants must be 18 years or older our contracts follow the academic year and mainly run from you will be offered renewal of your lease will in advance may before it expires you can terminate the lease during the academic year with a notice period of three months from the last date of the month you can terminate the lease on my page so i have to click start my application button and require date from august applicant app is here international student i need room and i have to select my region it's coinsburg and i have to range my opinions with your number one wish on top so i have to click add your wish for cho choice my housing i have to go my home page and click the see all our student housing tab and in here i have to uh, i have to select my region this is my apartment so i have to select my room within this list so it's very important for going to all the things that are provided inside that link so i am going to all the links So I have to uh, choose my housing. So after add my wish, I have to click next button. Option apply for student housing. Option I can share single unit with shared kitchen and bathroom with a person of the opposite sex yes i need hc unit i would like to uh, receive offer other accommodation option if there is nothing available among my favorites yes. i am clicking next button and next to kin please add a next kin and i am selecting my next of kin then I am clicking next button almost done before you submit your application you can look over again and double check that everything looks correct and then i have to click send application button in 
send our mail, we can see that SSN housing is sending an mail and they said that our housing application is registered. Almost a month and a half days later, I got a warning from SSN housing to my mail and they said that our application for a room or apartment with SSN will soon be deleted from their system. All applications are automatically removed 60 days after we are registered with us. So we have to prolong our application. So for extending our application, we have to click that link. After clicking that link, we will be redirected that page. Then we have to click login button. And here we have to put our credential and then click again login button. Then we will be redirected our my tenancy page. If here we can click my application section, then we can see extended button. If we click that button, our expired date will be prolonged. And if we want, then we can edit our application. Here we can see that our application will be extended. And if we see our mail that SSM sent us a mail and they said that our application is now extended. After few days later, I got an email from SSM and in that email, I know that I have allocated a student housing. In their mail, they also said that I have to return the signed contract within three days of receiving the offer of housing. That means I have to sign their contract that was sent by them via in this attachment and I have to sign it and scan it and then send them to back via mail. And if we scroll down then we can see that here there are four attachments all of them are a pdf and if i open the booking confirmation of student housing then here i can see that i have been offered a student accommodation at papillon from 3rd august 2022 and the rent for this unit is 5017 per month and Electricity is included in the rent. And if we scroll down, then we can see that our rooms and apartments do not have duvet and pillow included. If we want that, then we have to pay extra 475 knock per month. And they also said that there are no kitchenery in our rooms or apartments. And if I open the contract lease agreement, then we can see our contract lease. Here they provide our name, our domestic address, and a date of birth, phone number, email, etc. etc. And here they also provide a lot of information. It will be good for going to all the information after going through all the information if we scroll down we can see a sign option in the last page we have to sign this page and scan it and send them via email if we open again booking confirmation then we can see a link www.ssn.no if we click that link then we click student housing and then we click my site. In here, we are going my tenancy page. In here, we can see our reference ID, our housing number, address, rental period, and status is everything signature. That means they are waiting for my signature. And if I go the questionnaire section of SSN, the here in here we can see the same things that they are provided by me via email and also they say that we have to print the contract sign it and scan the sign contract and send it by email so i am sending a mail 
with my signed contract lease. Here is my sign contract list. So I am just press the send button. After depositing money and send sign contract, SSN sent a mail that they received our deposit. Also, they they give us a sign a tenancy agreement with SSN, and they said that if we are tenant, that needs to transfer to deposit SSN to get a student visa SSN will withdraw money from our deposit account and they send a power of authority attachment we just simply download the PDF and and print it and fill all the required fields and then scan it and then send them via mail with all fill out fields I am just sending the mail with my power of authority